Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to sit down and do a soft summer smoky eye. I also wanted to do a tutorial using one brush set. I get quite a lot of comments saying that people buy these brush sets and they don't use all the brushes or they don't think they need to or they don't know how to use all the brushes. So I have done a video for you guys to help you out. I was very fortunate and received a Vanity Planet palette um, and it's a basically a portable makeup brush collection. It also has um, 50 15 brushes to use and it comes with a pamphlet that tells you what each brush is and what each brush does There's a number code and it tells you exactly what that brush is used for So it's super easy to follow and it also gives you a guideline So to apply my soft ochre paint pot I am taking brush number 11 Which is a large dome shader brush and it's to shade powders and moisturized base products So it's perfect for soft ochre paint pot then I'm going in with my pure eyeshadow palette and it's called the Secret Crush eyeshadow palette and I am taking the cream shade and I'm using brush number 8 which is a medium blender brush for blending and oh my god guys this is my new favourite blending brush. I, you, as you can see throughout this tutorial I use this brush quite a lot, I absolutely love it. So the first shade I went in was that cream shade and then I went in with um, creme brulee from Makeup Geek just to go in the crease. I really needed a crease and transition shade and this palette unfortunately doesn't have a transition shade or anything that you can use as a transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with Blazing from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just warm up that outer corner ready for when we use the palette. You just need a good base and I'm using the same brush, the number 8 brush, to apply this just on the outer corners. And just to let you guys know, you get 70% off this brush set when you use my code, which I'll link down below, which makes it $30 for the whole brush set. So it is a massive bargain for you guys. Anyway, I'm taking the brown shade here and I'm gonna be taking brush number 10, which is a crease shader brush for controlled application for your eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna apply this brownie shade just on the outer corner and make like an outer C shape. I don't want it to go on the lid, I just wanna keep it to the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with the black shade and the brush number 12. Now it does say that this is a concealer brush but I mean I always swap and change my brushes. It's just a guideline for you guys. Um, I just wanted some preciseness um, with the black eyeshadow. I didn't want it to be too smoky so I just put it where I wanted it and then I took brush number 8 and blended it out. So every product and colour that I'm popping on I'm using brush number 8 to blend it out a little bit. Also guys with this palette I did find that it had quite a strong smell when I opened it up but I mean leave it out for a day and the, the smell completely goes but you can totally wash your brushes but they just use a really strong cleaning agent to make sure that it's really hygienic for you guys when the brushes arrive. Anyway then I'm going to take the pink shade which is my favourite shade out of the whole palette and use brush number nine to pat this all over my eyelid from inner corner to the brown and then I'm just going to smoke out the edges to make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I'm taking the mauve shade out of the palette and the same brush. I'm just going to pop this in between the pink and the browns. I feel like it was quite a big contrast between the pink and the browns so I just wanted to put a little bit of that colour just to give it a nice gradient effect. Then I'm going to go in with that white shimmy shade and pop that on the inner corner using my brush number 13. And then to define my eye shape, I'm just going to take my Eye of Horus felt tip liner in black and I'm just going to line very thinly um, over my lash line. And then I'm going to take the number 13 brush and a little bit of that black eyeshadow and start to smoke out that liner all the way from outer corner to inner corner. And then taking brush number 14, which is an angled liner brush, I'm just going to take some more of that shadow and make a smoky liner just on the outer corner. I wanted a little bit more of a dramatic feel to this look. And then for my mascara, I'm just taking the Eye of Horus Mascara and adding a couple of coats to my top lashes. And then onto my face makeup, I'm taking my Laura Geller Tinted Spackle Primer in Champagne. I'm just going to use my fingers to work this into my skin. I absolutely love this primer, it's honestly my holy grail and I don't think I'll ever stop using it. My new favourite drugstore foundation is the Fit Me one from Maybelline, which is the matte and poreless one, the normal to oily skin. Um, it's 
my shade is in 220 and I'm applying this with my foundation brush which is number 5 from the palette and it's a liquid foundation brush and I just used downward strokes because all the fluffiness, all the peach fuzz on your face will kind of lay flat on your skin so you won't look like you've got loads of peach fuzz. If you were to brush upwards that's when you can see it. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Master Contour Stick and it's the contour and highlight stick but I'm only going to use the contour side today and I'm going to apply this underneath my cheekbones, in my temples and on my forehead. Um, also I'm using brush number three to blend this out. It honestly blended out a treat. I was really surprised at how well this brush and this contour product work together. Then for concealer, I'm going in with both Maybelline products. I'm going in with the Fit Me Concealer for my underneath my, my bags. And then as a transition shade between my concealer and my foundation, I'm going in with the Eraser Eye Concealer. Then to buff this out, I'm going to be taking brush number seven from the palette, which is a concealer brush. And I'm just going to use little patting motions to make sure that this product has really worked into the under eye area. And then I'm going to take some of that concealer and pop it on my forehead and then down the bridge of my nose and use the exact same brush to blend this out. And then I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set all of my face in place ready for powders. And I'm using brush number one, which is a kabuki brush to apply powders or mineral powders. Then I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and I'm taking brush number two which is a powder brush to apply my bronzer basically to all the areas that we cream contoured just to set all of that in place. And then just to make my bronzer a little bit deeper almost as a contour I'm going to go in with a sharper brush which is brush number four which is a angled contour brush which just keep, gives that bronzer like a sharper kind of more dense look which makes it darker so I'm just going in exactly the same areas but just making that bronzer a little bit bit more darker by using this brush. Then to give my face a glow I'm going in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm taking the two shades at the bottom and I'm using brush number six which is a large fan brush to apply my highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. Then to add some colour to my cheeks, I'm taking Margin Blusher from MAC, which is my all-time favourite. And I'm taking that um, contour, um, the angled contour brush again. I love using angled brushes for blusher. I think it makes um, the cheeks look kind of less harsh with blusher. Then going back into eyes, I'm taking brush number 8 and I'm using my um, creme brulee shade again just to go underneath my lower lash line and smoke it out heavily on the outer corner and then lighter on the inner corner. Then I'm going to go in with this bronzy shade from the palette and use my brush number 10 to smoke out from inner corner to outer corner. I really wanted a shimmery look underneath my lower lash line. Then going back in with my Eye of Horus Mascara to finish off my bottom lashes. You could totally stop here and not add falsies, but you guys know me. So I wanted to add a little bit um, of dramaticness. So I'm taking my Isla lashes and this is the Rosie um, B collection. And these lashes are called Flutter. I'm just going to apply them with duo glue and my tweezers. They're really pretty and really natural. Then to complete this look, I'm taking my Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick and it's in 50 called Nude Thrill. And I'm also taking this on my brush number 15, which is a lip liner brush with a cap. It honestly saves the day when lip liner brushes come with uh, like a cap because if you put it in your handbag or something on a night out, you won't ruin that handbag with all the lipstick and lip glosses. Then just to finish off, I'm putting a little bit of Tarte's um, glossy lip paint in gold just in the center of my lips to make it a little bit more summery and a little bit more glossy anyway guys that's it for this tutorial i really hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget you can get this brush palette by using my code and getting 70 percent off and until next time i'll see you soon bye <laughs>